Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today we're doing a book review on Wicca, a guide for a solitary practitioner by Scott Cunningham. Now for those of us who have been in witchcraft for years and have read a god-awful amount of books, of course this is a very small potato, but for those of you who are starting off and have never had a book about witchcraft at all, but want to, this is definitely the book that you want. Why? Because it gives you the basics. The basics of everything. It gives you the foundations of the whole entire practice. Not just Wicca, but just standard, average, basic witchcraft and how to conduct magic. And not just how to conduct it, but why we conduct it the way it does. Um, and it's really good for those new beginners. So if you're really interested in witchcraft and Wicca and you don't know where to go, you don't know where to start, definitely the book to go to. When I first started, uh, this was definitely the book that I grabbed. I didn't even know what it was. I wasn't sure. I didn't know where it came from. I was just like, hey, this is a cute little book. And I grabbed it, got it home, and I slept with it. I ate with it. I went to school with it. I did everything with it and uh, the only thing I think I didn't do with it is go to the bathroom and take a shower with it. Other than that, I did everything with this book. I did not stop with this book. I have read it cover to cover several times. Um, so yeah, it was a big part of my life. The first couple chapters goes into magic, the history of witchcraft, the tools that you use, the deities and just the general basic stuff that you need to know to even remotely do any kind of magic. The second half of the book goes into initiations, meditations, and how to put what you've learned into use. Now the third half of the book is where all the fun stuff is. The rituals, the spells. It's really where Scott Cunningham has put in um, certain things about his practice and how he does magic. Uh, the great thing is that it opens it up for you to experiment, but at the same time gives you a, a nice foundation of how to do magic. And eventually you can obviously change it up and change it to your own liking. All in all, this book is amazing for newbies that are interested in learning the craft but have no clue where to begin. Also, it's a good reference book when, you know, you're experienced and you need to just look something up. It's not bad. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys around and uh, much love and blessings.